Welcome back! In the previous part, we had some annoyances in a little cave. It was very, very annoying. But we did eventually take out the Valkyria, and she doesn't seem quite happy about it in this little image here. So let's, let's see somewhere to belong. in flames. Anything you wish to do. No matter what, I'm right here. You feel the same. I know it. You... you fool. Yeah. But you are in love with a fool. Did he die? Vaults. Well, I can see his chest moving, so I'm going to say no, he's, he's alive. Thankfully, because he's one of the best characters in this. Cremaria. You're even gorgeous when you're crying. You... you really are a fool. He really is. He's a massive fool. But, dear God, is he amazing. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. No more laughing. 
anything for me. <laughs> Don't push yourself. Let's see. Well, I see an angel, but this doesn't look like heaven. I'm guessing we're still alive? Yes. Hey, that means you got control of your powers. Nice going, lady. Thanks. No. I've almost killed you twice now, and you're the only reason I could suppress my powers. Well, you'll have to keep him around then. I'm just a useless reject after all. You know that's not true. You tried your damnedest. We both did. That's how we got so screwed up. We've done good. Leave the rest to Forseti. Let's go home. Home. Yes, let's go home. Together. Yay! I do wonder what happens with those two now. It's just like, I, I do enjoy their story. Like, it, it, that had character growth and it was interesting to watch. I really wish we were playing on the other side because I would have loved more story between those two. I'm hoping that's not the end of it, though. I'm hoping there's more to come with those two. But I am thinking, like, they could have done that story better. If they'd evolved our side of the story a bit better and we understood the characters more. Because it would have been interesting if Kai had shot the crystal at the end and saved both of them. And then there was sort of like an understanding of like, right, I've saved your lives. Disappear. It's sort of like... It, it wouldn't have played well where we're currently at, but they could have got to that point had they, you know, developed the characters better on our side, but still. Anyway, the truth. No, I caught, I caught a part in the past, the truth. You, this is not this is not allowed. Or we're going to find out about the bomb in the city. Let's, let's see. The truth. Captain. Captain Morgan. <sighs> Captain. Captain Wallace is here to see you, sir. Oh. 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 Hello, Mr. Wallace. I heard you managed to take down the Valkyria. A fine work indeed. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> captain. The captain has something important to tell you. Listen carefully. <laughs> Captain Claude Wallace. Yes, sir. I hereby grant you full command of Operation Sickness. And this is where we find out what they're planning. Uh, Captain? What are you... Claude, the Captain hasn't finished yet. <laughs> It's time I told you everything. The secret of this ship. The true purpose of Operation Cygnus. Watch it just fade out now. <sighs> Knew it. It's like, ooh, big reveal. Could have just told us. Chapter 16. For Seti's Judgment. That's like, here's the thing. It's like, it's trying to play like this whole thing of like, Ooh, it's a secret, but it's so obvious at this point. I think that's the... I really do feel like the writing in this game is not as good as it could have been. That's the thing. It's like where I'm sort of like on the enemy side, it's like... That's, that's kind of bad writing, although I'm mm, debatable on whether or not we should call them enemies, but you know. Right, so Operation Sickness. Portside cannons are ready for combat! Hurry and tell the fire direction center. Don't have much time before we reach the capital. Attention, everyone aboard the Centurion. Wait, that's not the captain. It's gonna be the new captain. It's Claude from Squad E. This is Captain Claude Wallace. 
I have an announcement to make. Please, stop working and listen. Moments ago, Captain Morgan entrusted me with command over Operation Cygnus. I know I'm not worthy of this responsibility, but I'll give all I've got to see it through. Soon, our ship will arrive at Schwarzgrad. Wait, so Claude has agreed with the idea of blow up the ship when we get there? What about Angie? The road here was a long one. We lost our sister ships and more of our comrades than I can say. Unless he's planning something else, but still. However, we overcame that loss to carry out our duty. Which is why there's something I have to tell you. All of you. The true purpose of Operation Cygnus. I can see it fading out again at this point. This ship holds a weapon of mass destruction. The A2 bomb. You all saw what happened to the Cavalier. You know how powerful it is. Our mission is to detonate the A2 bomb from within the Imperial capital. It just seems so... wrong at this point in the war. Should we succeed, we cut off the head of the snake. The Schwarzgrad falls. Their army falls with it. We are to infiltrate the capital and detonate the charge stored in the main reactor. Which is Angie. Once it's activated, there's no stopping it. We'll have an hour until it detonates. Allies will be there to lead us to the suburbs outside the blast radius. From there, we will watch the end of the Empire. I repeat, our final objective is to set off the A2 bomb. I mean, it's, it's clearly trying to make an, like an analogy to what happened during World War II with the two bombs that were dropped on Japan, but the situation with the Empire is completely different to how Japan were during that time. Because Japan would simply not stop. They would not stop. Like, if you, if you study the history at that time, it's like, the reason they decided to use the atom bombs wasn't so they would sort of like get an easy victory. It was sort of like to say to the Japanese, please stop it will cause you to kill so many of your own people we do not want to fight you we do not want to cause millions more deaths than we need to it's okay so if we drop these bombs we'll kill hundreds of thousands of people or if we carry on the war it's going to go on for years more and it's going to cause you to basically like probably like i think it's sort of like every man and woman had to fight sort of thing situation they were at in Japan. I'm not 100% on that bit. But it's like, they would have fought to their last. And it's like, they needed to surrender and they wouldn't. So it was, drop the bombs was the better option of the two. It's a horrible decision. Horrible. But, that is in no way like this situation here. It's like, it's not like you're losing massively. It's not like the Empire would fight to their last. There's no indication this needs to happen. So this triumphant music feels really wrong. Let's end this war with our own two hands. We can do this. We're gonna win! Peace. Finally. We'll get to go home. It feels really wrong. It hasn't built up the stakes the same way. We haven't really learned enough about the Empire and, and how far they'd go, that type of thing. It's like, would they fight to the last man? I don't know. I really don't know. It's not presented them well enough to to indicate the whole idea of using the bombs. I don't know. But anyway, last resort. So we have a secret weapon. Utterly incredible. Just gotta bum rush the capital, chuck the bomb in, and boom! Good night, Empire, right? Because again, the situation here is we've got one bomb we can use. There is a reason two we used on Japan. The first one did that, killed hundreds of thousands of people. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. But Japan still didn't surrender. They were like, no, we're gonna fight to the last man. It's like, alright, here's a second bomb. It's like, okay, maybe we should surrender like that is, we cannot fight this weapon. They don't even have a second bomb in this situation, so what happens then? 
<laughs> I like it. Let's blow them sky high. I mean, I know they're all going on the idea of like, okay, we'll, we'll wipe out the infrastructure, but it's like, is the Empire really that incompetent that they only have like one base for their entire government system, their entire military system? That seems stupid as well. It's our last resort, but it's true. This will end the war. I, it's like if it was a real situation, it wouldn't. It'd just be like, okay, there's other people in charge in another location. The captain was smart to leave Claude in charge. If anyone can lead the operation, it's him. Victory is so close, I can taste it. I swear to make this mission a success. I think it's 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 taken the World War II story and simplified it way too much. Yay, Tuban? But that must be... <sighs> Yes, it's Angie. We know this much. The price of victory. <sighs> well done, Claude. Here. You'll need this key to activate the A2 bomb. Just looks like a house key. The captain entrusted everything to you, including our support. I mean, that looks like a key you could... Easily copied. That's not good. Please, lead us all to victory. I mean, you'd want keys that were more secure and couldn't be duplicated. That you could take to just a random key maker and be like, could you make me a copy of that? It's like, do you want any one of those fancy ones that's a different color? Like, oh yeah, I'd like the one of those ones that's sort of like a rainbow effect if you like have it, have it in a certain light. Like, yes, I'd like one like that, please. <sighs> the key to ending it all. Oh, it's literally a key as well. This is it. Oh. Let's finish the war. Once and for all. Hmm. I, I think the thing is with this entire story, it's like... The writing isn't up to the point I'd want it to be with this stuff. That is my only problem with it. It's like, it feels like a lot of wasted potential. And that's what's bothering me about it. The gameplay, I love the gameplay. Don't get me wrong, I love the gameplay, even though the AI is a bit dodgy. But I do love the gameplay. Even when I'm losing, I love the gameplay. But, it's just like, the story is just... Mm, it's just not there. A2 bomb, anyway. Look at you, the big boss of Operation Cygnus. What a twist. I never saw it coming. I'm not calling the shots. I'm just pulling the trigger. Literally. Hey man, you okay? Don't tell me you're getting cold feet. Ah well, no matter how high you climb, I'll always be here to kick your ass into gear. <laughs> That's what I'm counting on. My brother will do whatever he can to stop us. But I know you can get us through. I'm sure he's already come up with the perfect plan, but I'm ready for him. I will not lose. For the sake of those we've lost, I can't. It really is like, have we learned nothing here, Claude? Like throughout like the entire story that the enemy isn't evil, that you're going to be killing loads of civilians who will eventually then rise up and start a new war, potentially in the future, if you don't work things through and see see them as people, etc, etc. That's more like it. It's your job to make the tough calls. Ours is to make them happen. And Nuke is not right in this situation at all. Everyone believes in you. You can do it, Claude. Yeah. <sighs> What's wrong, Riley? You've been quiet. Let's go, Raz. Indeed. Huh? Come on, this is our last hurrah before the final fight! God, you're tense. I said let's go! Fine! See you, Claude! That was considerate of her. <laughs> hey, remember those adventures we used to go on when we were kids? Not in the slightest. Why are you bringing them up anyway? After it got dark... We'd sneak into that old abandoned house, one at a time, and tag our names in the basement. 
I remember that. Kai, the real one, would always go in first. Then he'd hide and wait to jump out and scare us. Yeah, and you'd run away before you got even halfway there. Except for that one time, when your name somehow showed up with the others. Mm -hmm. That was Kai. He felt bad that I could never get to the end, so he wrote it there for me. I knew that. <laughs> so did everyone else. No wonder you all called me Scaredy Claude. <laughs> <laughs> but you're different now. You've grown up a lot. I don't know about that. He's, he's just different. The A2 bomb. It's Angie, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. The Cavalier explosion came from a girl like her. When the Valkyria in the engine room died, it set off a massive chain reaction. Only this time, we're bombing a city with millions of people living in it. Angie is going to die. And she's gonna take countless lives with her. I keep telling myself it's for Galia and for the comrades we've lost, but that doesn't make it any less terrible. And yet I have to do it. I have to. I have to do it. The Federation is still retreating from Operation Northern Cross, and our troops are dying in the Eastern Theater. To end the war, I... I... I mean, surely there's another way. Like, can you not... But this is the thing, again, they've only got this one bomb left. It's like... Is there no way to inform the Empire? It's like, look, we can blow up your entire city if we wanted. I think maybe we should stop the war. Claude. The A2 bomb works on a Ragnite implosion. The same technology my father and I developed. I took the research he left behind, and I finished it in Vinland. Because it's not like the Empire hasn't seen one of these explosions happen. Because they have happened. Because, you know, like, one exploded out in the middle of the Crystal Sea somewhere. There were people that saw it. The Empire would know what's going on. They'd be like, yeah, yeah, we need to stop the war, otherwise, yeah, bad things. Sublimating the compressed combustion makes it implode. I knew the military would try to weaponize it. Oh, they're trying to weaponize anything. I mean, I think they've tried to uh, uh, weaponize athlete's, athlete's foot at one point. It's terrible. But I was okay with that. No, I wanted that. Like, I'm remembering some of the funny stories from, like, World War II. I think it was World War II. Like, um, the Americans, they, they tried to, um, basi basically, the best way of putting it is they equipped bats with suicide bomb vests. Yes. Bats. Bats. The only problem is, the bats then went to roost in the American bases. So it's all like, e yeah, I can't blow them up because um, it would take out our own base. I thought completing my father's research to destroy the Empire was the perfect revenge. Riley. But yeah, they tried to weaponize bats. Like in um, Vietnam as well, they weaponized sound. Like, they were using sort of, like, haunting sounds in the forest to try and scare the, uh, Vietnamese troops into submission. Good or evil, right or wrong, I don't know either way. But there's one thing I do know for sure. This isn't just your burden to bear. I'm as guilty as you. If you turn that key, I'll carry the weight with you. So don't keep everything bottled up inside. Come what may... We're in this together. Riley, thank you. I see this is better than getting to the point of like addressing the situation of like, this is gonna be millions of people you kill. Millions. Frontal assault. But it still doesn't feel like the stakes are at the point where it's like, we should detonate a nuke. It just doesn't feel like it's at that point yet in the war. It's just, no. Land ho! I mean, it, it could easily be that point in the war, it just I don't feel like the story's represented that very well in the writing. Again, the writing feels where this game has been let down. 
That's a very strange looking capital. There it is. Schwarzgrad. Takeshi's castle. We really made it. <laughs> Maintain speed and heading. Take us as close as you can, and then we storm the capital. Aye aye. Speed and heading, steady as she goes. Wait. Something's dead ahead. Huh? What? Is it gonna be walls again? V walls? What is that? It looks like an iceberg covered in pillars. I mean, that does look very strange. I thought that was trees on the image. According to the map, we're approaching an island. There's a forest on it. Yeah, but... Those are probably trees, frozen over and covered in snow. They do look very strange, though. Should we go around it? <sighs> no. We'll push straight across. The Centurion is tough, but it's not that tough. It can crush ice, but hit any rocks and will run aground. The enemy knows that too. They'll be counting on us to maneuver around the island. It's their last chance to stop us from reaching the capital. I'm sure they'll set a trap around the perimeter. In which case, we should surprise them by plowing through. Luckily, we do have a safe route. The Forest of Ice. You call that safe? Indeed. See how densely packed the trees are? There's no room for any rocks large enough to stop us. True. I don't detect any rocky areas ahead. How can you detect that? I see. The frozen trees should be fairly brittle. It's just insane enough to work. All right, maintaining course. I'll concentrate on steering, so I'm counting on you to keep an eye on what lies ahead. Only one way to find out. Right, leave it to me. Once we break through, the capital's only a stone's throw away. Full steam ahead! Good. Pushing through. Stop the engine! the blimps out the sky. Incoming transmission! It's an Imperial signal! Patch it through! Aye, sir! This is Captain Forsetti of XO. Attention, Federation Army. We have you surrounded. You have one hour to surrender your ship. Like hell. Otherwise, we will kill everyone on board. <laughs> that is all. Forsetti, wait! Forsetti! They cut the transmission! <clears throat> Enemies behind us! The path we took here is blocked off! There's no way to go but forward, but those electrified wires would completely disable the ship. Shoot the blimps! There's nowhere left to run. What should we do, Claude? It's all my fault. I let us right into his trap! There was probably a trap in every location. That would be sensible. No, it's not over yet. There has to be a way out of this. And I guess we'll start seeing if there's a way out of this in the next part. Seeing as we're about half an hour into this. So a lot, a lot of scenes again after this, like, mission we did previously, the one over there. It's like, it's like, there's a lot of scenes. But anyway, we'll see you in the next part. Shut off for now.